Here's what I use for honing. Uh, you can of course use a stone, a uh, diamond stone in particular, if you want, but I find that just going straight to this wheel from the uh, 120 grit uh, wheel works fine. I mean, maybe if you used a 60 grit wheel or an 80 grit wheel and didn't have a 120, maybe it'd be a good idea to use a, a diamond uh, 400 or 1000 grit hone to put a better edge on it. But I find right off the 120 I can go right to this and uh, it usually works fine. I just, uh, I just recently cleaned this up because every now and then you know this is just MDF and every now and then it gets kind of a divot in the middle so I just made it flat here again I just used one of my lathe tools to make it flat and uh, I'm going to show you how I dress it and set it up this is just a piece of MDF I drilled a hole in the center I stuck it on my lathe and uh, made it round put it back on onto the grinder here and used my lathe tr tools to make it totally true because you know it's not going to be exactly round coming off the lathe and going onto here because of the slightly difference in diameter of the shaft etc so this is just MDF. It's regular MDF. It could be a little bit thicker, but that's all I had at the time. It works fine. Two important things about this. Uh, number one is this is a higher speed grinder. My other grinder is a slow speed 1725 grinder. This is, is a, a, a Delta grinder. I can't remember. I got it somewhere from somebody. And it's the 3500 RPM high speed grinder. It has to be a higher speed grinder to hone it. Uh, the 1725 grinder is a bit too slow. So what I do is, I first I put a little bit of oil on this. Now anything will do, really. I happen to have a can of uh, air tool oil here, and the reason I'm using it is it's got a nice little spray-on spout, spout in it, and it's easy. So you just spray on a bit of oil, it doesn't take a lot. The MDF will soak up quite a bit of oil. And the reason I put the oil on there, I find it, it just uh, kind of cools the honing, and also the, uh, the honing compound seems to stick into the uh, MDF better with a little bit of oil on it. So I just go around once or twice. Now, of course, when you turn that on, it's going to spray all over the place. So let me uh, step off camera here and grab a board. I've got a board here. Stick it over top here. Because I really don't want to get covered with oil. So let's spin it for a minute. That's going to spin off the excess oil. So if you were uh, really watching here, you would notice that the uh, grinder here is spinning away from me. That's, a, of course, a very key point because we're looking at sharpening our tools here, not looking at cutting the MDF. And you can see that it slows down. It's even got a bit of a wobble, but it doesn't really matter. It's not that critical. If you're using a tool like the, or you're sharpening a tool like the skew, of course, you want the, see the arrows here on the side, you want the wheel going away from you. If the wheel was coming towards you, well, of course, you know, that would dig in and, boy, you'd have a huge catch. And let me tell you, you'd have to do that once before you wouldn't want to do it again. So. My grinder is mounted actually backwards. It's mounted on the back of my grinding stand because I have limited space in my workshop. And uh, so I got to reach in here to turn the switch on. So it's mounted backwards, but you know, the wheel, the important point is the wheel turns, the top of the wheel turns away from you. And that's a, a very important point. You have to have that. So next up is, is the grinding compound. I use this uh, green stuff. I buy it locally here. It's I'm not sure exactly what it's for polishing for, but it's for polishing steel or stainless steel or something, I'm not sure. But it's a green compound. And all I do is I turn on the grinder, or I guess this could be called the honing machine now, and just, just touch a bit to it. It melts pretty quickly, you know, you don't need to put a lot on there. Just get a, a fairly, you know, consistently smooth green coating on there. All it needs to be done. Now it's, it's pretty much ready to hone. Then I take the tool, and it's very much like the grinding. You put the heel on first, and then you work up towards the, the, the tip. Because I just dressed this, I'm going to get quite a bit of green goo on the, on the front edge there. Not a problem. Turn it over, take a look. Yeah, that looks like it was honing in the right spot. You can see the wheels going a little bit black. I don't know if you can see that. That's because of the steel coming off of the tool. So I'm getting a lot of green goo right now, because like I said, I just put the compound on here, so it's going to initially have this green goo problem, but you use it for a few days and you won't have the green goo problem. And this just came off the grinder, so it takes a little bit more honing. Once you've honed it a couple times, it doesn't take a lot of honing to, to uh, get a very sharp edge again because it's already kind of been pre-honed. Uh, 
Maybe it doesn't look so different to the camera, but uh, it's sharp. I can uh, quite easily shave the hairs off of my arm. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, that just readily takes the hair off of my arm. Be careful I don't cut myself. There you go. There's the hair shaved off my arm. So that is sharp. There's nothing more I need to do with that. That came right off the 120 grit wheel and right onto there, and now it's, it's ready to go onto the lathe. So that's where we're going next, we're going on to the lathe. So, important points to remember. This is shaped, this is sharpened in a, in a convex shape, not the usual hollow ground. It's got a 15 degree angle on the top between the long point and the short point. I go from a 120 grit wheel straight to the honing wheel. And as you can see from the shaving the hair off my arms, uh, it, it's sharp. This is, is as sharp as you would need a skew to be. I also use this, by the way, on my um, regular hand chisels, and you can also use it on carving tools. It's quick, it's easy, uh, it's, it's a really great idea. Okay.